We're talking about Hungarian Christmas songs on today's episode of the podcast, so stay tuned. Well, hello! Welcome to the Hungarian Living Podcast. I'm your host, Elizabeth Sobovas. Our goal is to discover, celebrate, and share Hungarian heritage and encourage you to do it too. We'll touch on food, travel, history, music, language, genealogy, and share stories from our guests. We're glad you're here. This is a podcast where we'll explore Hungarian heritage in a variety of ways. We'll introduce you to some fun people and organizations who love their Hungarian heritage and share some great resources with you so you can get connected to your Hungarian heritage in a deeper way. So whether you know a little or a lot about being Hungarian, this is the place to be. This is part four of the Itzy Pitsy series of Celebrating Christmas with Hungarian Style on the Hungarian Living Podcast. I grew up hearing lovely Christmas carols in Hungarian. I am sure hearing the sounds of Hungarian and repeating them has helped me in my pronunciation as I have been more intentional about learning Hungarian over the last several years. I am thankful my mom played these songs during the Christmas season every year. Hearing the songs brings back some nice memories. I remember our home being visited by church members from one of the Hungarian churches in Youngstown, Ohio during mid-December when the air was crisp and cold and there was snow on the ground. The carolers would come and sing Hungarian Christmas carols outside our window. My mom wasn't elderly, so maybe they just did it for fun because they knew she knew Hungarian. I suspect there are many aging Hungarian speakers, or even not aging Hungarian speakers. Maybe they're just recent immigrants in the U.S. or Canada, and they're maybe homebound or in an assisted living facility or in a nursing home or maybe just in an apartment, in a new place, and maybe they would love to hear some Christmas carols in their native language. I would like to encourage you to get three or more people together who enjoy singing, and they don't even have to be Hungarian, and consider learning and singing a few Hungarian Christmas carols this Christmas season for people who might truly appreciate them. We have a Hungarian Christmas carol book that can help you with this project. There is a link in the show notes, and if you want to send Hungarian Christmas cards, We have several to choose from at thehungarianstore.com. Enjoy the season and enjoy celebrating with Hungarian style. We'll have another idea for you in part five of this series. Please recommend our podcast to a friend. And we'll catch you next time. Do you want to learn the Hungarian language, Hungarian history, or learn how to research the Hungarian side of your family? We've got you covered. Check out all our learning opportunities as well as meaningful books and gifts at thehungarianstore.com. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode of the Hungarian Living Podcast, please share it with someone you know who loves their Hungarian heritage. If you own a business and would like to talk about sponsoring an episode of the podcast, please contact us at podcast at hungarianliving.com for more information. Special thanks to Stephen Chichek and the Animal Cannibals for the show music. Check out our show notes for links to resources mentioned in this episode. If you have a question or comment, we'd love to hear from you. We'll catch you next time.